everyone and welcome to this new mini series I decided to call Up Close and Personal with Vicky. So basically the idea for this is mainly because I'm bored and I figured that maybe some of you might be interested in knowing me as an individual, as a human, right? Because I am a human, I'm not a robot, not an alien. So um, this really small mini series, basically I'll be showing you things in my room, it'll basically be a four-part series showing you perhaps you know interesting tidbits and stories from my life that you may not know, and um, yeah, that might interest you and just to kind of get to know me better as a human being. So I do have to say I turned on the air conditioning and the fan because I just came back from outside and it was really warm <laughs> as usual. Um, so I hope you don't mind if the audio either has a little bit of noise or if I edit this out. Uh, in terms of the audio that it, it sounds a little bit titty. Anyway, with that in mind, here it goes. So we'll start first with what's on my wall and I'll feature this uh, poster right here, this little uh, card. Basically I got this from my school and uh, I did a photo shoot, they arranged a photo shoot with me and it's basically featured in that coffee table book. It was pretty interesting, it was a pretty fun shoot, I had a great time. I was surprised that the packaging was pretty detailed. Uh, this was in 2019, so last year. Same thing with this. This card was from the basically president and founder of the school, SCAD, um, in case you're curious. Alright, so going down to what's on my wall. Uh, I have this uh, thing that I bought from Hawaii. I always like to buy things that are unique and representative of the place and kind of shows the map. I think this is ink based, so you can see all this. I actually, I was, uh, where was I? I was here. I went to Oahu. So for those of you who saw my shark cage diving video and the helicopter video and the scuba diving, that's where I went. So moving on, we have this nice cloth that I bought when I was in Wyoming and I think that was in 2015. So as you can see, it's really nice. Uh, I'm trying to zoom out here. As you can see, it's quite a, it's a square, square cloth. So I went to Wyoming. I love Wyoming. I would probably return. It's really a great place. Uh, let me try to find where I went. So I went to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Went to Yellowstone Park as well. There were a lot of bison. It's pretty cute. And that was in 2015. Uh, I might put a video of that if you're interested. Just let me know in the comments below. Alright, moving on to the other end of my room, we have a few more things right here. So basically, as you can see, I bought this in Hawaii as well, Live Aloha. By the way, Aloha is like peace and harmony. And given the uh, craziness during these times, I think it is very important. By the way, the state of Hawaii, if you're curious for some random facts while learning, uh, basically, uh, I believe they have the lowest rate of hate crimes against Asians right now. This is also a beach in Hawaii. I forgot which beach this is, but I believe they say the sand is actually imported from Australia. So sometimes the water keeps washing away the sand and they have to keep replacing it. I believe this is Waikiki, I'm not sure, but, but that's an interesting fact in case you didn't know. All right, some of you might be curious what the hell this is. So basically this is actually uh, a shooting range I went to in California. So as you can see right here, I went to the shooting range. I was shooting a shotgun. As you can see, I'm pretty good at aiming. <laughs> so so yeah, don't mess with me <laughs> when I have a shotgun. It's pretty fun. Uh, this was a long time ago. So there you go. That's why I kind of yellowed out the sheet of paper right here. Alright, so moving on to the next part of the wall in my room. This is Puerto Rico. I, um, I think I went there in 2012 around December. My memory is pretty good. So uh, as you can see, I went to San Juan and as you can tell, I like buying maps and stuff like that. So this is the entire Puerto Rico, you know, before the, was it a hurricane? Well, before everything went down with Puerto Rico, I was there, I was in San Juan. It was pretty fun, pretty hot too. Okay, more Hawaii stuff. Again, this postcard is the same as this one. So essentially, I just bought a couple because I like collecting these stuff and putting it on my wall. You can see map again. So there you go. This one is the famous one. Some of you might have seen this in some of my videos. Maybe not. As you can see, if I do this, this is another thing I bought from Puerto Rico. It's a pirate treasure map. 
and it's been here for a long time. I left it here when I was traveling, so that's why it's so brown and kind of faded out. Uh, but yeah, it's a treasure map. I thought it was pretty unique. It came with an envelope, which I don't know where it is right now. I believe it's in, a, it's in my drawer somewhere. But yeah, it's pretty fun. I think it costs about $10, so it's a mess. Uh, fun map. I just thought it was pretty unique to Puerto Rico because they do have a uh, history of pirates. So yeah, so this is the famous uh, poster that you guys see in some of my videos. Alright, so moving along. So there is this poster hidden right here by the side of the cupboard. Basically, it is a Walking Dead poster. I believe I got this at the Comic Con. I did not actually manage to get a ticket, but for some reason, I have no idea how I got this poster. Uh, I might have just been there at the right place at the right time. So I got this The Walking Dead poster. Uh, yeah, so that's really about it. I hope you guys enjoy that quick, short mini series. Personal insight to me, I love buying things from places I travel to. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I missed that's up on the wall. So basically, that's a, the first episode of a quick introduction to the up close and personal so essentially now you know what's on my wall so yes stay tuned for the next quick mini episode of this mini series and i hope you guys are staying well right now i'll see you in the next up close and personal